Uh, the subtitle of my book was How Facebook, Google, and Amazon Cornered Culture and Undermined Democracy. And the book came out almost a year ago, and it was first kind of lonely, but now I think people are beginning to grasp that this is a real problem for our democracy and for our culture. Jamie Dimon, I think, had it right where he said, look, what, what we deserve is, is probably some transparency about what is being done with this data, who has access to it, how it's being mined, how it's being sold. And while uh, Zuckerberg apologized last night, I, I still don't have a clear idea of what it is Facebook does with my information. Well, what I was struck by his apology was that he doesn't know what's out there. In other words, this is the kind of Frankenstein monster he's built, and he, he has no idea how it's being used. You know, a few months ago, Sheryl Sandberg, his COO, said, we were shocked that people would use our advertising targeting tools to target anti-Semitic users. Well, duh, you know, I could target women in Los Angeles who drive trucks and drink bourbon with Facebook's tools. Why wouldn't I be able to use it for bad actors reasons. So I, I don't think this is really uh, a satisfactory response. I mean, the one thing I do think was good is he said that he would come in front of Congress. So I think in the next two weeks, we'll see him with his hand raised in front of Congress like those tobacco executives used to have to do and answer some tough questions. Because ultimately, if they don't get to the place where they have to take some responsibility for what's on their platform, and that means changing the safe harbor laws, uh, nothing's going to change. Jonathan, understandably, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the company has tried to maybe contain this issue as a usage of data issue as to what uh, app developers might have access to. But obviously, in the public mind, it, these issues are kind of tumbling into each other, whether it's uh, what Facebook's you know, news algorithm does in terms of serving them up certain, certain types of information and lots of other issues that have uh, been matters of concern. So what does the company have to do in terms of thinking about how it can maintain some level of trust right here, whether it's talking to Congress or maybe submitting to, to various types of, uh, of oversight, as you said? Well, look, first off, the Federal Trade Commission has opened an inquiry about the privacy issues. Uh, Facebook had previously signed a consent decree saying that they weren't going to use third party, let third party people have access to your data without your permission. And they obviously violated that to 50 million people. So that could be a pretty serious fine to Facebook. But the second thing is the European Union is about to put in a privacy regulation called GDPR, which will allow me to use Facebook without giving them any access to my data other than my age, my sex, and what town I live in. People have estimated that that might mean that if I did that, if I removed and purged all my data from Facebook, I would probably be worth about 60% less to Facebook in terms of their ability to sell me to advertisers. Huh. Um, and so that would be a rather substantial change in their business model. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.